And here is our H-E-B haul. I am really, really glad I got that CSA box yesterday because they had like zero produce. This is literally it. I had like a long list of stuff that they were completely out of. She like read me off the list. We're out of avocados, we're out of tomatoes, we're out of blah. It was insane. So that stuff's gonna go bad quick. So I think that's really, really dumb. I understand stocking up on shelf stable stuff and freezer stuff, but man, like what kind of bonehead is stocking up on fresh blueberries and fresh strawberries? I don't understand. So thankfully I did get a little bit of produce. We still have some apples. They were totally out of apples, which I do understand that one because they will last a while. So we ended up with some broccoli slaw, some shredded iceberg lettuce. They did not have my meat. Like I ordered shredded, or not shredded, I ordered ground chicken so that we could do lettuce wraps and just do like a lettuce wrap bowl instead of the actual wrap but they were out of the chicken. So I didn't get that. I do have shredded chicken. We could probably make it with that. So I've got the lettuce, the broccoli saw, the mandarins, which will last a while. So I just got a big bag and then some bananas back there, but I'm just completely shocked. I mean, if you're stocking up on avocados, you're totally doing this wrong. <laughs> like they go bad so quick. That's just such a silly, silly thing. So people are really going off the deep end. And I say that as I get like, all the things so it was just really crazy anyway i did get some eggs eggs last a while so i'm okay having the eggs from yesterday too and then i wanted to make some tuna salad i saw somebody make a tuna salad sandwich and i thought yes i want tuna salad and then i also thought we could make the tuna noodle casserole as well it's just an instant pot recipe it's really easy so i got albacore tuna in water this is the white meat kind and i got a couple extras to keep in the pantry and then also some mayonnaise. I am completely out of mayonnaise, so that was the one that they had, I guess. Like they were out of the one that I wanted in the tub, which is fine, I just really like the Hellman's. Livy is playing water behind me, so if you hear things. And then they had a survey thing. I totally ripped off the, the little thing, so somebody's gonna have to eat this chocolate chip cookie now. Who do you think should eat this cookie? Who? You want to eat it? Of course you can. I gotta pause. All right, Libby said, mmm, crunchy. She's got her cookie in there. And then I wanted to make avocado toast, and I wanted to save the avocados. Stella's gonna be trying one of those right there, one of those avocados. And so I got these. I forgot to get them at Trader Joe's. I really like their little squeezable avocado spread. So I just got the holy guacamole one that they had at HEB. And then uh, vanilla unsweetened almond milk. Johnny was complaining the last one I got was flax milk and I wanted that to be like a milk substitute in recipes. I have stuff to make Zupa so I want to do that but he did not want it for cereal so I got this one for cereal and then somebody said the mango smoothie is a dupe for the naked mighty mango so I'm talking about the Trader Joe's one and so the Trader Joe's one's $2.99 for a small bottle this was five something for a big bottle and they say it's almost an exact dupe so I'm really excited I love that mango smoothie and they happen to have the big one which is awesome and then people stock up on like really sensible things I stocked up on Clint's Texas salsa and I've been getting the mild and it's been spicy enough for me I got three of those and it's so, so good. One of Libby's friends brings applesauce to playdates. So I ended up bringing that so I can bring them to playdates coming up in the future. And also she can snack on them. Obviously she's already gotten into that. And then I ordered a different thing of fries. I wanted curly fries, but they only had these, these ones they substituted, which is fine. We'll eat them. And then lots of sandwich meat. They're both going to be home. And I had ordered tortillas, but they were out of the tortillas. I was hoping to do wraps for lunches and things, and that's Libby playing with water. But we'll just do sandwiches. I've got bread over there as well. So they're gonna be home for at least a week. That way it'll get us through having some yummy lunches. Texas wildflower honey turkey breast, two of those. And then I wanted the Black Forest ham they were out of, so they gave me cherry, cherry wood smoked uncured ham, which will be fine. And then gross. some, oh, ham is good. You don't like ham? Oh, the water's gross? <laughs> Oh yeah, okay. And then to go with the tuna salad, I got some pickles. I don't know if Livy will try a pickle, but I'm hoping she will, they're really good. Last time I ordered Lara bars from Amazon, they were a really good price. Like I've been ordering them, I've ordered them like five or six times in the big packs. The last time they were expired and they were like a year expired. It was really bad. So I haven't ordered them since and I wanted a few just to have in my bag. I like to have these just in a pinch. It gives me something to eat while we're out and about. And then Stella's been majorly teething and I realized I'm almost out of Tylenol. So I ended up getting another one. Thankfully they had this one. 
I was worried they were out. I've heard lots of things about people like hoarding this. So I'm glad that I had it. I do have ibuprofen, but I'd rather give her Tylenol if I can. And then over here, I've got these rye crisps. We haven't had these in a while and they just sounded good. And I stocked up on some treats. I got these oatmeal cream pies. I used to get these and the Nutty Buddies at my grandma's house during the summertime. And so it brings back like really good childhood memories. So oatmeal cream pies, Nutty Buddies, those will be for special treats. And I stocked up on one thing like crazy, beef jerky. <laughs> I got five packs of it, two of the honey glazed, one old fashioned, and then two salt and pepper. So that will last us a long time. I just thought it would be a good thing to have since I was seeing reports of like all the fresh meat and stuff is gone. So that'll be good to have in a pinch. And then some spaghetti back there. I want to do that tuna noodle casserole and I have pasta sauce. I have a thing about Fredo sauce, diced tomatoes, things like that. So it'll be really easy to just put together some pasta dishes and then some black beans and garbanzo beans. Those are Libby's favorites. She blasts through those. And then Harvest Crisps. I'm pretty sure these were on sale this time. So I just got her two of those. She really likes those, but I don't know that we've had those in a while. And then Johnny's special request. He's been loving these salt and pepper chips. So these ones, they happen to be on sale. So I got those ones instead of the HEB ones. And then something that I bought, I don't know what, came with a free thing of protein bars. So I just got these peanut butter and chocolate chip ones. Hopefully they'll be good. One of us will scrounge and eat those. And I also needed some sugar. I got a tiny one last time and I wanted to fill up my canister. So I got a big one. That way we can do some baking. Got lots of baking supplies. I just needed white sugar for that. We were missing definitely lots of produce and I wanted to make sure we had salad stuff so I went to Trader Joe's and got some salad stuff and stuff to make it up until the move. So this is going to be my last grocery haul in this house. We are not going to be buying any more groceries until after we move so I got stuff to make it through. I got some easy meals we can have because when we close on the house we still have some things we have to do. We've got to hang blinds, we've got to seal the grout and so I wanted some easy things that we could have that I didn't have to even think about. I just make them and we're done. So Walking through everything, I got some salad stuff here. I got one bag of spinach, two bags of the butter lettuce, which I absolutely love, and then some more shredded carrots. I did get cilantro, but they were out of limes, so Trader Joe's had the limes. And then I have been coughing and my throat hurts because of that stinky cold, and so I got some lemons to make honey lemon tea. It's something that helps soothe my throat. And then Libby wanted blackberries. We haven't gotten these in a long time. I remember getting them when she was a baby and they're super tart so she didn't really like them but she said at school they had them so she wanted some and then some strawberries down there. The rainbow baby carrots for snacking. Pink lady apples back there. They just looked really good and I like the size of them that they're easy for Libby to finish an apple and then orange juice back there. It's just something extra for us to drink. Some more vanilla almond milk and that's for cereals. We've been having a lot of cereals with both of them being here <laughs> all day sparkling strawberry drink. I heard this is really good, so I wanted to give it a try. Some more ciabatta rolls. I will make some dipping oil for that one night. And then some flour tortillas. I usually get the H-E-B ones, but they did not have them. And they are like shutting down their ready-made production stuff to make sure that like shelves are stocked and things. I figured they wouldn't have them today either. So we just got them at Trader Joe's. I like the size of these ones. They're nice and big for burritos and stuff. And then another vodka sauce for an easy spaghetti dinner. I do have at least one other jar of sauce, but I like this one the best. And then macaroni and cheese back there. And then the flank steak. They did not have the flank steak or the ground chicken last week, so I ended up getting both for this week. And then quite a few snacks. Bomba peanut snacks. We're going to give those a try. I've heard good things about them. And then we love the pretzel slims. We wanted some of those. Also the mangoes, which are Libby's favorite. And then chocolate croissants and regular croissants. I thought those would be just fun to have for breakfast and just little treats, especially this one's a nice treat. And then when we were going through, Libby wanted waffles. So we got these blueberry waffles. Hopefully she'll like that for some breakfasts. And then these are like the easy dinner night things. I do have a thing of fried rice still. So I got some chicken pot stickers. Also some Kung Pao chicken. I could just make that up real easy and throw in some veggies if we have any veggies left. And then some mandarin orange chicken. It's one of my favorites. And then more mini beef tacos. I've been loving those lately. So I made sure I got enough of those. And then back there, Libby picked out some roses for us. Our other roses are finally biting the dust and we need to replace them. And we all have decided we really like having the flowers in the house. So we might be 
starting to get those every other week. So anyway, that is it for this grocery haul. The next one you see may not be next week. It might be the week after. I might have one for you guys next week, but I'm not sure. It might be the week after, but it will be in the new kitchen. So I'm really excited about that. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I will leave my foodie playlist and some relevant recipe links down below for you guys. Be sure to give me a thumbs up and subscribe and I will catch you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye.